So what we want to do is effectively generate a human cellular model for choroideremia. And in this way, we think we can go from the patient directly back to the patient. Now, as Michael Young said, the retina is composed of multiple layers. At the back of the eye, here we have the retinal pigment epithelium. In front of that, we have the photoreceptors. And they're the ones that capture the light and send the signal to the brain. They're both affected in CHM, but we know now from Miguel Siabra's work that if the, it is the retinal pigment epithelium that hastens the degeneration of the photoreceptors. So because of this, we're trying to develop a model of the RPE, retinal pigment epithelium. So up till now, we couldn't do this because we couldn't take retinal cells from a patient. But because of stem cells, we now can, and in particular, so IPS. So the induced pluripotent stem cells, as Michael Young said, can be taken, can be generated from skin cells. Where what we do is we treat them in different ways. We generate stem cells, which then have the potential, to, in theory, to become all the different cells of the body. So they can become neurons, they can become skin cells again, they can become blood cells, liver cells, and we want to make them retinal cells. So our strategy is to take skin cells from a patient who carries a mutation in the CHM gene to transform, transform them or reprogram them into stem cells and then take these stem cells and differentiate, differentiate them into the RPE. And in this way, we have a human cellular model that can be used for multiple things. It can be used first for disease modeling. This means we can actually study the disease in the actual cell type that is affected. Or we can use it to test new therapies. So to begin our project, we recruited uh, two patients with CHM. These patients are members of France Croideremia, and they are recruited through the Centre of Reference for Genetic Sensory Diseases in Montpellier, which is directed by the Professor Christian Amel. We took two patients that had two different mutations, and the results I will present to you today are actually from one of these patients. <laughs> 